ever wondered how to make your footage cinematic? Like real cinematic, not like everyone tries to tell you with shoot 120 FPS or put on letterboxes or throw on this lot. No, like real movies you would see in the cinema. There's just something about this look of Quentin Tarantino, Wes Anderson or the Coen brothers, something raw, analog that you can't just replicate by going out there with your digital mirrorless camera. Or can you? Well, what if I told you the real reason my footage looks like this isn't because I'm using a red Komodo or even an amorphic glass. In fact, this shot was even filmed on my Sony Alpha 6300 and a $60 lens. The secret of getting an analog film look without giving up on digital convenience is called Dehancer. Dehancer is a plugin for DaVinci, Premiere and Final Cut. You can even get it for Lightroom, but that's a different video. Today, I'll focus on the video aspects of this plugin and why it's so special. So stick around until the end of this video to get a little discount if you decide to try it out for yourself. Dehancer's film emulation does so much more than just filming colors in a grainy overlay. It actually takes the digital footage and turns it into cinematic gold with just a few clicks. We have a lot of options to input any sort of footage. In my case, I can simply select the red Komodo as a starting point. But if your camera isn't on Dehance's guest list, well, you can select any standard color space. For my Sony footage, for example, I recently got to try out these Gamut Rec 709 conversion LUTs and have been really happy with them. You can find a link in the video description. From there, you select your film stock and your image immediately starts to look pretty sweet. I usually use the standard Kodak Vision 3 250D film stock and then add the Kodak Endure Glossy Paper Film Print. I then tweak the exposure and the contrast a little bit and that's mostly all I do for a quick grade. But it's Dehancer's effects that totally make the image super authentic and truly cinematic. The grain is more than just an overlay. It's actually rendered so it behaves exactly like real film grain would behave on the analog image. And you have all the control over every single aspect of it. I usually just set it to positive and I'm super happy with the results. Halation is one of my favorite features. It actually emulates the red outline you would have on the bright parts of an analog image. You can dial in the exact amount you want, however I'm happy with how it comes straight out the box. While subtle, I think it's a feature that totally makes the analog look so much more authentic. There are also some features I don't use as often, but are great to get a massive variety of looks that you can infinitely tweak to your liking or what fits the scene. Blooming emulates a glow around the highlights that you would have from using vintage lenses. Gateweave simulates a certain play in the film, resulting in a slight shaky frame. And Film Breath mimics an accidental change in contrast or exposure like you would have from using lower quality coding or development as you would see in old black and white movies. Dehancer is also never sleeping and constantly releases new features like the new film compression or developer. They've even released an app where now you can have this powerful tool right in your pocket to edit photos on the fly or get a better idea of how the final grade might look. Using Dehancer for the better half of a year now, I've also noticed some things that you should keep in mind before purchasing a license. First, I'm using a fully spec'd out M1 Max MacBook Pro and it does the job, but I wouldn't really want to go with anything lower than this. At least not using 6K Redcode RAW. Secondly, I've noticed a huge performance difference between Premiere Pro and DaVinci. For anyone on the edge, I highly recommend going with the DaVinci license. Even though I edit my videos in Premiere Pro, I still export the XML just to be able to use DaVinci for the grade. Lastly, you cannot use your license across editing softwares. If you buy it for DaVinci, you can only use it for DaVinci and no other editing software. On the plus side, you can use the Premiere version for After Effects. Something I really like about this plugin is that you only have to buy it once and then you get all the updates without having to pay extra. You also get two seats and one license. You might have already noticed I'm a big fan of Dehancer and they just happened to ask me to do a video about the plugin. This video isn't sponsored and everything I said is my 100% genuine excitement about me being able to create the exact look I've been craving for for so many years now. They did provide me with a free license and a promo code for you guys. So use my promo code MORTIFILMS to get 10% of your lifetime license for Dehancer. That's 10% for the promo code MORTIFILMS. If you have any other questions, Dehancer releases super nerdy blogs going into detail about everything you could possibly want to know about the product. I get asked a lot how I grade my footage. And this plugin is basically all there is. It's literally so easy to recreate the look of your favorite movies and it just keeps getting better. So. If you like this video, 
and you want to know more about the photo plugin from Dehancer, subscribe and watch my next video where I go back into my catalog and re-edit some of my old photos. Till then, bye.